Everybody, welcome back. Falcon Rimworld Alpha 6. You guys know the routine. Let's get the game going on over here. So, last episode, we finished up the tail end of a siege that went really good in our favor. We were able to hold off the following assault from set siege. And now we're setting up a proper defense for us because we've realized that, you know, just with these three turrets alone has not been enough to actually hold off any assault. So, we're going to definitely have to make that a little bit better. And that's the reason why you can see over here we have a skeleton of the idea that I'm setting up over here. And I think it should work out pretty well, but we'll see how it runs out in the lot in the um, tail end of things over here. So these people are set up for recruitment. Hopefully they join us relatively soon. Jay is still being taken care of. We have a mental break soon with Data Error and Sweeney. I hope that, you know, that could be taken care of by itself soon. Um, we still have to bury Hershey as well. I haven't forgotten about Hershey. He was, uh, you know, a dedicated worker for us too. So let me actually also set up a grave for my boy over here. Now, I don't know where I want to bury my friends, though. That's the real question. Um, I'm going to do it out here for now, just because I have the option to do so. Um, we'll probably, you know, fix this out later. But for now, let's just do an emergency type of uh, engrave right there. We still have to build this right here. And then as soon as this wall is built, we can put the stone wall in front of it. And then these turrets will have power to actually fend off assaults and everything to that degree. All right, we're still hauling items as well. There's a lot of metal and food over here to be picked up. This guy's over here picking up bodies as well. Gaul the Luddite, and a few more items over here. We have deconstructed everything over here too, it does seem, so that's good. It's going to be extra metal for us to actually build stuff with, so I am relatively happy about that. Alright, so we have a, a lot of things going on. What I also wanted to talk about too is, uh, oh shit, we set this up already? Sweet. So that's going to be a little bit of a shortcut for us. Let me set up a power door, call on us only, right about there. Excellent. So we can still use this as a prison cell, because there's going to be two doors kind of um, taking care of the whole thing right there. Alrighty. Now we're burning bodies. I still have um, equipment, which is not, you know, my cup of tea. My food is really low as well. You know what? I'll take care of that afterward. Right now we need to actually focus, focus on our food. So what I wanted to do is sun lab. That's what you cover, right? Let me go into production and we'll do hydroponic tables. Now, I forgot how I set this up last time, but looking, judging by what we did over here is um, roughly, that's the wrong one, Falcon. Cancel right there. That's not the right one. Hydroponic basin. We'll do one right there. And then the other one's roughly through here. The other one through there. Turn this bad boy around like so. This like so. This straight up down. Turn this around. This is like Legos. I love Legos, man. I haven't built a Lego set in quite a while, though. I think the last one I built was actually the uh, Batcave, but... <clears throat> surprise, surprise, right? Falcon building something with Batman related? No way. Yes way, though. I, I did. It was enjoyable. So we'll do that right through there. Alrighty, so that's fine. Now we need another one through there. One through here. One through there. And that's about it, right? Perfect. So hopefully they build that as soon as possible. We will be turning on the sun lamp for now, although it doesn't have any power because we do have to run a few more power conduits through it. So we'll do roughly this, 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 this. I think more than likely we just have to get through there and then and do this and this and then this should pretty much cover these two tables over here I would say. A mental break soon for data error. Data error it's not my fault that you're so slow though. I mean if you would get back and get food and sleep in time it wouldn't be my problem but you're so slow my friend. What can I do? What can I do for you is the real question. Nothing. Alrighty. So we're gonna build that. Um, JSD, he's still burning bodies. He's burning bodies with armor, but that's okay. There's enough armor over here for us to actually deal with anyway. Now, do I have any people over here that I need to... I, have, I haven't renamed Venus, have I? My bad. Alrighty, so I need to rename Venus after this episode. For now, Venus, let me hook you up with one and one. You're good at growing, so go grow, because we're going to need a lot of food really soon. Um, mining, like, maybe a two. We'll turn this off for now. I just want you to grow, if anything. Hauling, we'll do like a two. This will be like a three. Alrighty. Anybody else need any sort of updates to their thing? Not really. Uh, we have enough growers, it does seem. Do we have enough cooks? We have one. One, two, and three. Third one isn't as great as the cook as the other ones, but I'll leave it at that right now. Okay. And finally, we do have three cooking tables, right? Excellent. So, is any of this food going to waste? 3.2, 2.2. 3.7. No, I think our food's actually looking pretty good. So, the other thing I need to do is make it so that the bodies, at least the um, animal corpses that are coming over here so we can kind of butcher them. We need to set up hunting again, right? 
So how about we do corpses, um, uh, ba 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 Allowed worry corpses? No. Animal corpses, yes. And this will be preferred for animal corpses, right? Okay, so. Now that we've gotten- oh, this wall's almost built. Perfect. We needed that to happen as well. Let's go into orders and we're gonna do some hunting for some of our hunters over here. So hunt. Let's see, anything inside over here? We have one, two, three, and four. Anything else? One over there. One over there. Anything else over here? Two guys over there. Two guys over here. That's about it. Okay. So we'll set those people up for hunting, or at least those animals will be set for targets for hunting. And that'll bring us a little bit extra food, because we're really sh low on food right now. We need to get these things built as soon as possible. Alrighty, so let's forward time now. Man, our food situation is really dangerously low. I'm not really happy about it. TRF's Danny's having a mental break. Why? Well, I'm not really sure. Yeah, go cook, man. It's fine. Do whatever you have to do to kind of take care of that, okay? Okay, so 31 food. That's really low. But there's food right here to be actually picked up. The problem is we're not actually picking it up. What's going on with our hauling, with our hauling system over here? We have a few haulers, right, don't we? We should. Ninja Bun crafting one. Yeah, mining one for Sweeney. How about we do um, hauling one for Sweeney? What about you? Andy Ortiz? Uh, he's cooking, so no, not on him. Growing Guinea. Um, Shinichi? Let's put this as a one as well. What are you doing? Mining? Put this into a one. If you're mining, you could do some hauling as well, because um, we're not doing that many hauling projects right now anyway. So the more haulers, the better. What about you? Cooking? Okay. That's understandable. Growing, growing. That's understandable. You can't haul, unfortunately. Mighty Platypus has a few other options to do over here. And what about TRF's Danny? He's just cooking, which is actually really important, so I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Actually, no, let's do hauling as well. Okay. There you go. Now, we also need to haul <coughs> these rocks out of the way. <coughs> wow. I'm not sure where my voice just went right there, but <laughs> bear with me. I'm still Falcon. That was actually weird. Jay, you've been moved now, right? So let me turn this on and turn this off. All righty. And this food can be picked up and moved as well. Excellent. Alrighty. So, um... What are you doing? Taking food? That's fine. Jersey Paragon, you're dropping bodies off. Do me a favor, strip this dude. <clears throat> and strip this dude as well. Strip this guy. And strip that guy. Alright. So we'll soon be equipping people with weapons and his armor. Believe me, we will. But right now, I think the most important thing is to get the rotted bodies out of the way. Otherwise, people will be going batshit insane. We are bringing bodies over here that we are hunting, so that's a plus, so... Our butcher table should have enough to incorporate this area, right? I did. Perfect. And do this forever. Excellent. Alrighty, so that's being taken care of for sure. Thankfully, our hunting party is good. Now, this outside defense needs to be set up though as soon as possible along with our turrets. So our buildings, are at least our constructors, are kind of lagging it a bit in that regard. But I think part of that issue is because we are kind of hauling a lot of stuff from all the way out here. So right now, the priorities are kind of split up really not that great. We have an inventor from Blacksmith, he can go fuck himself, and Jack is now recruited to Sadistic Nemesis, so Sadistic Nemesis is back in on the fold of things here. So you're good to go, all you need is your weapon again. You had a, you know, that incinerary launcher, right? So you might as well grab it, even though it's not the best weapon out there, but whatever. Are you a good fighter? Shooting four, I mean, you're not the greatest, but you're not terrible either, but, you know. Yeah, just stick with the incinerary launcher. So we could turn this off now, we don't need that. Now, you know the other thing I haven't done is I haven't set up the... We did lose the geothermal from two episodes ago. I didn't set that back up for rebuilding. Which we do need because our batteries, as you can see, are relatively low right now. So how about we do that as well? I know I have a lot of things to be built and they're not getting built soon enough. I need to probably set up a few more people to start building <clears throat> than everything else that they're doing. But, you know, the bodies have been cleaned up now and now we're going to be burning down the extra t-shirts and that's fine. And as soon as those t-shirts are moved out of the way, and hauled from here down to here and then burned, we could essentially start doing the whole thing which we want to do, which is actually just to have my people start equipping into better equipment altogether. And we still have to build stuff too. Colonists needs treatment, that's going to be Jersey Paragon. What are we doing? Fighting, um, the Scarabs? Wasn't going too well, was it? Alright, what about the building out here? Dude, we're super lagging it with the building. I think we're just doing more hauling than building though, huh? It's probably the issue. Let me see the constructing here. One, one. JSDH Miner, let's turn you constructing into a 1 as well. And uh, Data Air, Warden, Patient, let me turn you into a 1 in this as well. Jersey Paragon, what are you doing? Mining and hauling. Yeah, keep doing that. Actually, no, no, you're a really good constructor. So let me set you up with that. Paul P, 
Hauling, turn is into a one. Sam Sibley the Miner, turn is into a one as well. Alrighty, there you go. So maybe these extra hands on deck would help us out, build us a lot faster. We'll turn these bad boys off for now. We need one more two turrets build. And we also need to set up a stone wall in front of this so that we don't lose power once these things take any sort of damage. So we'll do that, and boom, there you go. And that'll keep these uh, turrets from breaking down. Or at least the metal walls from actually blowing up. Now, the other thing I wanted to do over here... This is more of a finicky type of thing that I'm doing, but... Do I mine this or do I have to... Yeah, I can mine that. So what I'm gonna do is run this metal wall down to here, set up another stone wall, and then probably set up one or maybe two turrets over here. So these turrets will shoot at these guys as they're coming down our little maze of, you know, explosions. Not really a maze, but our little tunnel of explosions. So we'll be able to blow them up and also the turrets should be able to do a little damage to them. And what I'm going to do is actually make it so there's nothing in here that they can take cover with. So we'll haul this out of the way along with this just to get this shit out of the way. And we'll be relatively fine on that aspect. All right, so we're still burning all these t-shirts down. That's good. What do we have over here? Carrie Morton successfully recruited Axel. Axel is who? The assassin? He totally is already. Nice. So he can't do anything but hunt, so that's fine. We're doing hunting anyway. As an assassin, he's not really the greatest shooter and melee person, which is a little bit surprising. But that's okay. Um, Let's give you a weapon and get you equipped, right? You have no equipment? Oh, you have shit equipment. Alrighty. So, let's have you first and foremost, my friend, come and grab yourself a Tunico El Mugro. That'll be step number one for you. Okay, now that we've done that, let's actually also hook you up with a weapon. Let me give you, for now, the R4 charge rifle. And let me also hook you up with... Uh, let's see here, what do we have down here? Um, let me get you the... Fuck is this? Oh, Marine Helmet! Yeah, go ahead and use that. So I have a few hats for these people to wear as well. So have you the Marine Helmet, and we'll also give you the Power Armor. And that should pretty much do it. Oh, the Power Armor... Alright, so the power armor and the helmet. That's fine. It's a good setup for you. Alrighty. Ninja Bun! What about you? Gear. You only have the stable hand trousers. How's your fighting ability? Uh, character. Not a bad fighter. So let me hook you up with, let's say... Um, El Tunico for one. Alrighty. Let's, uh, there's a Bane mask over here that you could wear as well. Or a gas mask. Whatever. Same thing, right? I'll give you this poncho. And we will give you an armor vest. Good. You're good to go? TRF's Danny, nice to see you. What do you need? Shooting four. You're not the greatest fighter, but... You have, um, you know, a few things here. Let me hook you up with this, um, Tunico El Mugro instead of your t-shirt. That's probably a little bit better. Oh. Tunico El Mugro's taking... Oh, you know what it is? What is it? I, I thought that would just replace the, um... Hmm. Wait a minute. So, let me give you the duster as well. Okay, so it's either Tunico El Mugro or something else. Gotcha, gotcha. So which one's the one that, um, what is this one? So I need the leather tonic, right? Gotcha. Okay. I know it was one or the other, but I just couldn't figure out which one it was. So that's not the one. That's not the one either. Alrighty, so you're gonna come over here and grab yourself a leather tonic instead. And from this leather tonic, you're gonna re be removing over to... El Poncho. The old ponch. And from the ponch, you will also be doing the armor vest. There you go. Now you're properly equipped. Good to go. Sam Sibley, you're the next in line over here. I'm just picking these people at random. You also, for the most part, just need an armor vest. And let me give you a leather tonic. All right. Good to go. Andy Ortiz, how are you as a fighter, my friend? Three. Not really great. Not really great at all. What's your gear, though? Leather tonic, armor vest, so all you need is really a duster, so let me have you equip that. There you go. Spiffy Paul, have we been taking care of you? No, not yet. So you also come over here and grab yourself a leather tonic. Mental break. That's been taken care of. So you got that armor vest, all you need is a jacket now. Let me give you a duster and you're good to go. Alrighty, Batman. Armor vest, duster. You need a leather tonic as well. You especially because you're kind of always kind of getting hurt right there because you're really reckless sometimes, Batman, with your top hat. You look really spiffy though, so that's also pretty good. Alrighty, Paul, how are you looking? T-shirt? I don't think we're- I think we're out of the leather tonics though. It does seem that way, so we can't do anything much with that. Data Air, what about you? Fedora, button-down t-shirt, that's about it, huh? Alrighty, well, for the most part, seems that just about everybody else has been taken care of. There's probably a few people I'm missing here and there, but we'll do that as we go along. Alright, this is over here growing. How's our food? Oh, our food's going pretty nicely now. 
So we have potatoes, berries, and potatoes. That's fine. That's a pretty good um, compliment. And we have some mega scare of meat. We have 40 scare of, mer a scare of meat, which is actually pretty goddamn good. Let me go ahead and set some orders over here for more hunting, obviously. So, saw a scarab right there. I guess he's already been highlighted. Anything else? Got six over here hunting. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. <clears throat> he's gonna be... Alright, he hunted that and he's gonna bring it back now. Alright, excellent. What about you? Have you been set up for hunting? I don't think you have. How did you escape our little hunting plan? No, my friend, I'm sorry. You're also gonna die. Alrighty. How's our defense outside going along? Pretty good. Actually building the stuff now, so those extra people that we set up for constructing has been helping us out to a degree. Turrets over here. We need some turrets on the side as well. Let's not forget about that, but... You know, one step at a time for now. Excellent. So that's being burnt down. It's all good. We could turn this light off now. How is our thing over here? Almost there. Almost there. Actually, hasn't been working on just yet, but it's almost there in my mind. Food is now growing again, which is fine. We have enough meals. Alrighty. So what I'm thinking the next thing we do is actually start focusing on building our own equipment. Just better equipment altogether. So we have the machining table, stone cutters, workplace, workplace blacksmith. So which one do we need to actually build our own stuff? And that's going to be the tailors and the schematics, huh? We need wood for this. That's a problem because we have no wood. Alrighty. Mental break soon from TRF's Danny. Why are you having a mental break? I thought everything was fine. Colin is left unburied and urgently hungry. Alrighty, well. Yeah, I could see why you'd be bothered about that. So for this grave, let's do, um... Humanoid corpses, right? Allow colonist corpse, not allow anything else. Alright, so only colonist and... We're gonna allow buried corpses in that one. So, now that we've done that, we could probably have our friend Hershey be picked up. Alright, Hershey. We're gonna bury you really soon and hopefully get rid of this negative trait that we have from our people here. Is Steven gonna do it, probably? Doesn't seem like it, but Steven, let me have you. He's reserved by who? Andy Ortiz. Okay, so Andy Ortiz is going to bury this man, so that's good. Good job, Andy Ortiz. You're a fine gentleman and a scholar as well. So our blasting charges are set up and our outside defense, or our second little kill box is also set up. Perfect. So, I'm actually liking our chances over here. Now, what I'm going to do is actually set up a few improvised turrets right about here. So these bad boys will explode. Obviously. Now, let me build metal wall down through here for now. And then we'll do a stone wall in front of that. And we'll probably put a line of turrets down this way. Now this isn't going to be really problematic because the turret has to be right in the center because once it blows up it will injure our walls and the last thing we want is people coming in through some other side. Although, huh, more people to hunt over here. Or not more people to hunt. We're not savages, but you know, more scarabs to hunt I should say. Alrighty. More over there. Perfect. Let's get this hauled off as well. Might as well get these rotten corpses out of the way too, just so that, um, you know, doesn't become an issue. Alright, so that's being built. Has everything just been built? Oh, that's being built now? Alright, excellent. So we're actually recovering really quite nicely. Our metal supply is going down, which is a problem, but I think it's a problem that we could take care of easily by just going and finding a mining spot. There's a lot of mining spots over here that we did leave behind when that last raid hit, so... Now, let me pause this really quickly. Andy Ortiz, you tell me you buried my friend. Where is our, our buried individual? Where's Andy Ortiz at? I don't want to burn our, our <laughs> Hershey. That's what, what I'm trying to get at over here. Andy Ortiz, where are you? <gasps> no. Did you burn Hershey? Why would you do such a thing? Dude, where's, her, where's um Hershey at? Did we burn him? Ah, oh, Hershey, I'm sorry. Not only did we get you killed, but we also burned your body. Did we set this guy up for recruitment, right? What's, what's taking so long over here? Come on, Jay. Stop being such a dick. Dude, we burned Hershey. My bad, Hershey. I didn't want to burn you. You know, I wanted to bury you and give you like a proper setup, a, a proper farewell, but you know, this shit happened. Alrighty, for this um, other mortar over here, what do we want to do? Well, I'm thinking we do another we incinerary launcher. Yeah, let's do another incinerary launcher over there as well. Okay. We also need to haul off this over here because otherwise it's going to be a problem for us to actually fix our things because we have to walk through a lot of bullshit, right? So let me haul anything that's out here that we can haul. At the same time, we are crafting that down anyway, so we have a lot of space for it over here. Anything over here needs to be hauled off? Not quite. Alrighty. I'm also thinking we soon enough we're going to start expanding and grabbing a few more rooms because um, we're going to be keep growing, hopefully, assuming we don't die. 
I'm gonna keep growing, and at the same time, mining out more rooms will actually increase our metal situation as well. Our food's coming along really nicely. Let's actually also haul this stuff off over here. And we might as well set this off over here with um, some smooth, smooth stone. Alright. Nice. Looking really, really good, I think. Our chances for survival are pretty good. We need to also build the turrets inside over here for any sort of uh, inside breach, but, you know, one step at a time. The other thing I have to do is also, maybe we can start chopping down some of this wood. We can, and we will. So chop down that wood, because we actually do need wood for the... to build our own equipment, because we need wood to actually... Start building some, um, building the tables that are going to be to build the equipment. So let's set up all these trees, or these cactuses, I should say, for chopping down action. We do have some plant cutters, right? Not that many, but a few. Um, we have Johnny West and Pyridus, but Pyridus is going to be growing right now, so we need another person to do this. Repairing Stephen P. Let me send somebody else to help to give him a hand, like Chin Nietzsche. Let me give you some plant cutting action. Growing, I'll leave you alone. Andy Ortiz, you're cooking, so I'll leave you alone. Crafting, I'll leave you alone. Dice, though, you could probably start doing some cutting down. And what do we have here? Cooking, leave you alone. Constructing. I think the final could help us out with that, too. Plant cutting. Alrighty. Have these people cut down these um, cactuses and actually give us some wood. <laughs> oh, immaturity. What can you do? Alrighty, so, now that we've done that and we've gotten the essentials built, just about... I actually need to set up this last turret over here. So we'll do structure, metal wall, or not metal wall, but stone wall through here. And then we'll do the last security measure with just the improvised turret, obviously. And that's going to go through there. Now, here's my train of thought. If I set this up here when it blows up, it'll probably bring down the wall, but at the same time, we don't really have that much danger coming in through here. Like, they're going to be coming in through here anyway, so even if they blow this open, I can just rebuild it. No questions asked. So, it's going to seem like a waste and a problem, but I think it's a good problem. Although, then I won't be able to put the center one without blowing down this wall. And this is the, this is the wall that I want to avoid it being blown up. So, yeah, you know what? We'll just probably do this. We'll just do it. Unless, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we did this this way? How about we do one there? And one here. Let's get this as far as possible, right? So how about we do bam and bam. Now you're probably wondering what did I think about? Well, then we just do this. We'll do, assuming we have this enough space for it, we'll do stone wall. Stone wall. Stone wall. And stone wall. And then we'll do security measure. I know this probably doesn't work. I am, we've already talked about this, but at least in my mind it gives me the idea that it does. So we'll do that. Now, what this is going to do is that when these guys blow up, instead of, you know, ruining this wall, it's just going to, this right, these walls right here are going to absorb the actual blast itself. And that'll probably take care of that whole thing. And I think that's a really good idea on my part. I'm really liking this a lot. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Actually, let me turn this off right here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, I think that we're doing a lot of good stuff now. And uh, I, I feel a lot more secure in the base. We have this built. We have a good food supply coming in now. And um, I'm liking our defenses. It's looking a lot better. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. I encourage you to stick around. Leave a thumbs like. It. Leave a thumbs like. A thumbs like? A thumbs up. I'm sorry. YouTube just changed that shit recently where it's no longer likes. It's thumbs up. I'm all confused. Leave a thumbs up though. The support really helps me a lot. I'll catch you guys next time.